the Ledu Vala girl onto the podium, Leah Rahmat Mehruv. Leah's native home is a vibrant land filled with culture, rich heritage, and breathtaking landscapes. Her passion for public speaking, dedication to societal well-being, and diverse interests, where Rosalind's love and commitment to extend the stage on the Phasex talk show. pretty good. So this lovely day, I'm all set to talk about zillion topics today. But as I was scaring myself to catch a glimpse in the mirror, I thought, why should I bother about other topics when I am practically a living talking example of today's theme? Brace yourselves. By the end of this talk, you'll see just how much I'm living in today's theme. Hey folks, I go by the name Liyar Rahmat Mehruf and Assalamu Alaikum to everyone. So, let's start with the story. Back then, I was smoked for being thin. Yeah, thin. People used to come up and tell me, Liyar, add on some calories so that you look good. And guess what? Now people come up and tell me, Liyar, you're a bit chubby. Reduce some weight so that you look beautiful. I don't understand why should I look beautiful according to their eyes. They even used to call me Ladu Wala Ladki. I was not angry or sad because of that because Ladu is sweet, so am I. Keeping it all aside, what I have understood from my life is that I should never ever live according to the terms of society. Because it's my life, I should live according to my terms, right? You are you, you are unique, and you are beautiful. Other people will always have something to tell about it. We'll tell you guys another story. Back then, I was the super active girl in my class, ready for some sports action, and we decided to tackle the relay race. But the teacher dropped a boom. Boom. She said that I was too fat to run. But my friend and I fought back, and she reluctantly agreed that I can be the part of relay race, but I should run first in order to reduce the pressure of last true runners. Little did she know we had another sneaky plan. We stabbed our positions last minute so that she couldn't do anything, like anything. And guess what? We won. I can proudly say that my team won in that relay race. Don't let that society's label judge you, right? You are unique and you are beautiful in the way you are. You should develop your personality in such way that you can prove your critics wrong. Remember, with criticisms comes innovation, with innovation comes evolution. As this starts from home, then from school and then from society. Dear parents, please don't go fat. Dear society, please don't go fat. And dear school, please don't go fat. It's their life, let them do what they want. And the advice I have for all you guys is that your actions is what matters, not your appearance. Because your actions are literally your reflection. Thank you. <laughs> 